AJ Wright. Yes, sir. You better be lucky she had to go get – got to go to practice. <laughs> you got to make this quick because I got to take her to practice. Let's go. What's up, AJ? Yeah, Talk to no, me. No worries, no worries. Here's the question, Jinx. Do you think I actually was trying in that match? Like, let's be honest. You've seen me in the past times in the ring. I always go whoa, 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 all whoa, crazy. Whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> yep. You come to the booth to ask me if but you, do you were think, trying – you think? Do you think when that? When you stepped in between them ropes. Let, <laughs> let me tell you something. I ain't never been no wrestler, but I played basketball a time or two in my life. Most importantly, I played football. When you step in between them lines, you are no, you're always supposed to try. Trying. You are always oh, trying. The fact that you are even here, asking me this question. Here is my mindset, <laughs> Jinx. Here is my mindset. You, 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 see, you better make this make sense. You better make you this see, make sense. I'm not giving Seth all my cards. I'm allowing him to waste all his cards, see all his movements, all his, well, moves. Wasting all his cards while I keep my cards in my back pocket. For the actual show, for the actual title match, I have everything in my back pocket. That match, that tag team match, wants me to see what Seth is about. What Seth is about, what moves he does, what movements he does. You see, Jinx, as someone that's, well, once, I'll say this, back in the UK, I was an ex-policeman. I'll say it. I was an ex-cop. And interrogation tactics work both ways. You understand people's emotions, but in wrestling, I'm using that to a different movement. I'm using that to their movement interrogation and reading their movements for when it matters. So, final chapter. If you're going to, I have a feeling I know what you are going to say. Oh, AJ, you lost. Take it, rip. You lost. You lost. So what? <laughs> you think that really affects me? You really think saying I lost is really going to affect me? No. I did that clearly to just read the movements of Seth. I've kept my secrets in my back pocket. While he has revealed all of his. So, Jinx, does that not sound like a good reason? Listen, 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 listen. Do you, do do you want me to be honest with you or you want, you want me to give you the commentary? I'm at the booth answer. I mean, be honest, be honest. No. Be honest. No, no, no. This man, Seth Roth, has the undisputed heavyweight championship. Belt, yes, I know that. And he's had it for a long damn time. And you really got up here and just told the world that you are using some interrogation tactic to get your ass whooped? What? Interrogation movement tactics what? to what? read his play for no, when it matters. No, 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 no. Because now we now we going to a totally different. Now you up here telling the world, and thank you for your service, AJ, as a police officer. You telling me every time you got out of your shop that you were trying to lose to your suspect for to to get the upper trying. upper hand. Oh, time, no, like I wasn't no, no, no. Trying. Hold on, hold on. I, no, I was, you, no. I, you asked me a question. My you asked me a question. I'm answering it. This is what okay, you're telling me. You're telling me, as a police officer, there was points in your life you got out of that truck, out of your shop, out of your car, whatever y'all call it in the UK, and you were trying to play some mind game. No, sir. The, 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 no, no, the no, 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 sir. Cop, cop, no, sir. It's no, sir. That cop, wasn't that good cop, bad cop doesn't happen until you get them in a room secured. Before that, and, before and why? that. Hold on, AJ. Hold on, hold on, AJ. Hold on, AJ. Hold on, AJ. Hold on. Hold on. You asked me a question. I'm answering. 
Okay. As a police officer, you step out of that shop, you don't know what's happening. You got to take everything serious. Everything. So there is no time to take a moment to get your ass whooped to try to prove something down the road. No, sir. It's the same thing in this damn ring. There is no time to get your ass whooped and not get your ass whooped at the hands of the champ, the man you fighting, the man that literally came out here last week, clowned your ass, yes, told you, here's your 15 minutes right now, last week, and you said no. You said no only to come out here the following week and get your ass whooped just like he said he would whoop your ass, only to tell the world that you want the 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 main event at onslaught that's what you're saying to the people right now yep that's what you're saying no no i told you before you started talking make this make sense no every time you step in this motherfucking ring you come out here to whoop somebody's ass period point blank in a discussion you done yeah, got Justin. you. You done got me cutting the. <laughs> you done took me back. Hell no. Yeah, Hell James, no. You want to learn something? You really want to learn something about when it comes to being a cop? Really want to know? Sure. There's something called undercover missions. You take the L to understand your opponent. Bro, from what you I know, you, hold on. From what I you know, take the L from, being <laughs> under investigation. I got you, but taking an L and undercover work means you're not coming home. No, that's what I'm trying to get you to understand. No, no, no. You come out. QC just said it. Listen to me. Listen to me. From now on. When it comes to any any match, any title, championship aspirations, any of y'all have, you come out here and you better, you better damn well have your ass standing on business. I don't, business. I don't, no, sir. No, sir. You come out, this was your moment to come out here and make a damn statement. A yes. statement. My statement is, I and am the going statement to is, the onslaught. The I statement, am going the statement to show the true potential of myself okay i'm gonna the tell you i'm gonna tell shown you from okay the, very the start. statement you trying to make doesn't happen until march 30th but right here march 14th 2024 at motherfucking 4 48 p.m here in the states the statement you just made was seth called it he called it <laughs> and you didn't and this is and here's the bigger picture Seth ain't just call it on you. Seth just called it on the locker room. Ain't nobody been able to beat this man in two damn years. Now you got, now here, here's the ripple effect. Here's the domino effect. You got Seth calling his shot on you. You got Ragoni now feeling confident enough to call his shot on the rest of the locker room for the global title. How you think, and y'all want to be mad that FC had a whole damn pay-per-view? But you coming out here telling the world that you your game plan was to fucking lose? What? It's something in this business that people don't recognize. Sometimes you have to lose to learn your opponent. Okay. <clears throat> okay. <clears throat> okay. 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 So sometimes you got to lose to understand. Okay. Keep going. And Ooh. the way that it seems, because it was a tag team match, it didn't really have a, like, I would say it did have an effect on, well, on slot, but also kind of did not at the same time. Because seeing Seth in the ring in that tag team match, it is slowly building my mindset because I'll be honest, I've never hardly seen Seth in the ring. I've not seen Seth in the ring. The only person that I've had to get to for information about Seth was people obviously you know very 
Oh, well, from the past. You know, Mr. Timothy Porter drinks, you know about him. I do. And here's the thing. I do. But I'm going to be here's honest. I'm going to stop you. I, right now, this moment is about AJ. Not yeah, it's Timothy. It's about AJ, right. Not Timothy. But not I didn't Timothy. get information. Not, not and Timothy. To be fair, he, he didn't give me much. He didn't give me much. So the tag team match in the situation was to build those inner pieces on what Timothy gave me to plan out an offense, plan out my movements, plan out his movements. It's like you got a whole board of pieces, like people's lo in the police force, people's locations, where they hang out. This chart is of Seth Braun's movements. Getting okay. the okay, okay. picture now. Getting okay. the picture now. Okay. Okay. I'm I'm gonna stop you right here. I'm gonna stop you right here. I'm gonna stop you right here. Go on. All right. Here's where we're going to end this. March thirtieth. Yes. All the strategy, these tactics, learning your opponent. I'm gonna stop it right here. You better leave onslaught as the champ. I'm stopping it right here. Don't, don't, this is it. Don't say nothing. You better leave Onslaught with the title. Thank you, AJ, for joining me at the booth.